So right here is the uh, control board. And I just took it to the garage um, to examine it. So just go over these um, connections real quick. As you saw right here, this says Cool H, which this is the um, high side of uh, the blower motor for Cool. This is the high side for a heat line for the blower motor. Park, park. So there's two wires that we don't use. We can park here. Um, if uh, Cool H, if the high side was uh, wasn't working I probably could have tried using one of the park wires they don't blow as fast as uh, as if if I would use uh, the cool wire um, but it's a way to determine to see if if it's just part like some part of the blower motor was bad because it, you might just have a bad winding on one side but then the other side still works anyway so that's why there's two parks right there that you don't use then there's the, um, the 120 volt line in and also for the transformer it says XFMR which means transformer uh, so this goes to the primary of the transformer so the transformer can then output 24 volts AC and all of the side right here these are all the same this is where your neutral is at it says ne line neutral transformer neutral and CIR neutral, which means uh, the blower fan circuit uh, neutral. So, as we see, there's one, two, three, four, five relays on this board. Um, if you look immediately behind Cool H at this relay, um, you can see that there are two uh, contacts right here. These two are uh, the normally open and normally close contact actually this is normally close and this is normally open contact and this is a common right there and then these other two pins on the side is uh, for the coil so let me I bought a, the replacement for this relay online and it only cost a dollar fifty so this circuit board, this control board, if I bought a brand new one, it's going to be 140 bucks. But why not try a couple of dollars to see if I can fix it or not? Now, any HVAC professions will tell you that you're not supposed to change components on a control board. It voids the warranty, and that's very true. I'm just doing this for educational purpose just for my own uh, entertainment I guess um, so anyway so this is the relay for that and the way when you go online so I went to uh, uh, Amazon and DigiKey or Mauser these are three very popular places to to buy relays but whenever you go online what you want to do is uh, there's these part numbers and as long as you type in the part number you usually can find uh, something maybe a different company made but same specs so actually this is the same company exact same specs so uh, so as you can see actually this is pretty nice Let's see if I can focus on this so as you can see in this photo that there is the coil between these two pins right here and then the middle one is a common and then again one is normally open which says NO and one is normally closed which says NC so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to desolder this and take it out and and uh, replace it and then immediately right after this one is this big one now this big one I already know that it is a normally open single pole relay and I also bought a replacement one it costs a little bit more it costs four dollars so again, this toll is so far six dollars plus shipping handling, and I'm also going to replace that because, as you can see, this schematic that I have drawn up here, I by probing around, I realized that there's only two relays that controls the cool H and heat H line. 
Uh, so it's either these two relays or the board itself is bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to replace these two relays. So what I have right here, I have my solder iron right here. And I have uh, some solder wick right here. I have a suction right here. And I have my solder. Um, I'm just going to do this real quick. Since there is uh, some coating on top of this board, usually what I like to do is I like to just put some new solder on top of the old solder and basically just burn away the coating. This is just my method and usually it works pretty well. So I got some solder on the tip. I'm just going to re-solder the three joints. One, two, I can even see the coating bubbling up. Three. Use it, burns it away. Four. Last one, five. Burn that up. Okay, so this one isn't getting. I'm going to try using uh, maybe a solder wick right here and just suck it up. Usually it works. So here we go. Um, I won't lie, it did take me a long time to desolder these connections, about 30 minutes, but now I have uh, one relay out and then I have a second relay out um, from the board. As you can see right now, the board is empty with these two relays. So again, this is a normally open and then this one has two poles. One is a normally closed and one is side is a normally open. So how about we just test it real quick to see which relay is bad. Or if they're both good then that's a different story. So right here I have the normally uh, open relay, the big one. I have the black and red wires connected to my digital multimeter to measure resistance. And I have uh, uh, 18 volts going to here, DC. So if I touch this I can see it click. And I have zero ohms, which means that this normally open relay works. Now let's uh, test this other relay real quick. We want the normally open side with the common. So these two should be open right now. And I connect power right there. Okay, so let's test this out. And this also closes too, and I get zero ohms. Um, and then as you can hear it click, which means it clicks over to this side and this side is also shorted. So technically these two relays are good which means that maybe the board is bad to begin with but since I have two new relays to replace anyway I'm going to go ahead and replace the relays and then reconnect the board because sometimes these relays uh, could be uh, just intermitting so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it with these new relays in here and then test it out and if it still doesn't work of course we need to get a brand new board in we need to get a brand new board to begin with because this is just jerry rigging it and you're not supposed to do it like this anyway so let's put in first relay I already have it in now I just have to solder it 